Welcome, welcome to your window into Essentials. Essentials is a program through classical conversations to fully learn grammar and writing and have a little bit of enrichment with your math. I'm gonna go over what you can expect a little bit in class and what you can be expecting to do at home once you have enrolled in the Essentials program through classical conversations. Okay, so as you can see, the Essentials program is broken up into three sections. We're gonna talk about the grammar portion first. So here is your grammar essentials uh, portion, okay? This is the grammar strand. When you order your essentials guide, it's going to come in the mail loose leaf and you will need to find a way to either have it bound or to stick it in a three ring binder. Either one is fine. I prefer the uh, spiral binding because it's just easier for me to hold on my lap. This is the portion that you're gonna wanna be taking with you to class. So we're gonna go ahead to week four and I'm gonna show you that this is an overview for your entire week for week four. And this is everything that the tutor is going to be teaching in class. So if you have time before class, try and pre-read this information because then you will be thoroughly equipped and ready for class when you go. Um, but you also wanna make sure that you have this open and on your lap because as your tutor is going over what they're gonna be learning through the week, you will have this in front of you and you can follow along with her. This is the sentence structure, the tasks we're gonna be completing, the purpose, sentence purpose we're gonna be discussing, the patterns, the weekly sentences that we're going to be daily parsing and diagramming, the part of speech that we're focusing on, the chart that we're going to be daily copying or reviewing, your capitalization rules, your spelling rules, and so on. Everything is right here. This is your week at a glance. Also, the last page is gonna show you your spelling list that Classical Conversations gives you to use for spelling. This is a first tour, second tour, and third tour student. Now, the way that you actually run spelling will depend on how you want to do it in your home. And at the back of the guide, there is a tab back here on spelling, and I think that they give you some tips on how you can run that at home. But here is where you would access your list. So, look at this like your teacher's manual. Read it before class if you have time for the week that you're walking into, but definitely have it on your lap while your tutor is teaching so that you can follow along and be fully prepared. Now, the rest of what I'm gonna show you is what you and your student are going to be doing together at home. First of all, I'm gonna open that back up to week four. Here it shows you the weekly sentences that you're going to be parsing and diagramming. I'm gonna tell you what parsing and diagramming is so that you are prepared. We're gonna go straight to week four. I'm gonna tab this book too, okay? So this is week four. Now, if you see here, sentence one is love. And in this book, it reflects sentence one is love. This is called your analytical task sheet. Over here, it tells you which analytical tasks they want you to try to do at home. One, two, three, and four. This is analytical task one, two, three, four. And for advanced students, five and six, okay? So at home, this is the way that you're gonna run this. Every day you're gonna have one sentence that you parse. The way that you parse a sentence is this. You're gonna dictate the sentence to your child and they're gonna write it down on their paper. Then with your child, you're gonna check the mechanics of their sentence. You're gonna ask them questions like, did you remember your capital letter? And when they say, oops, no, they have time to fix it. Then you're gonna go over this question confirmation. You're gonna ask your student who or what loves, and they're gonna say, you, it's implied. And you're gonna say, right, I want you to write the word you and label you a subject pronoun, and they will. Then you're gonna say, what is being said about you? And they're gonna say, you love. And you're gonna say, right, please label love as your verb. So you're gonna walk through this question confirmation. It's gonna tell you exactly how to parse out the sentence. I'm gonna show you a little bit more difficult of a sentence that has more than one word. Okay, so this one, they're parsing it out and telling the parts of speech. Now, 
analytical task four is teaching you how to diagram it, okay? So these are the things that you will be taught how to do in class. And when you go home, you have one sentence per day to parse and diagram with your student and you will have no problem doing it as long as you work through the analytical tasks one, two, three, and four. And for more advanced students, tasks five and six. One, sorry, that's day one, that's day two, that's day three, that's day four. And then you are done with the editing, I'm sorry, with the um, daily sentence portion of grammar for essentials, okay. Now you have the charts portion that you're going to be working on. These charts I have laminated, they're your mastery charts. You have a completed version and a blank version. You're just going to literally have your child copy the information from here to here. The goal is to memorize the charts. Now, they might not understand everything that they're memorizing, but that's okay because eventually as you work through the program through the year, they will start to understand what they've memorized. So just trust the process. There is more than one way to memorize charts. You don't necessarily have to copy them. You can have your student read it aloud to you a couple times in the day and that'll help them memorize it. There's also um, on CC Connected, some people have done songs. Um, there's one guy that I love to use. His name is Mr. J. His stuff is actually not on CC Connected, but you can find it online through some of the Facebook groups. And he has done a hip hop style song about chart A that if your children listen to it, they will enjoy it and they will have that whole chart memorized in a day. Okay, so for a first year student, I have been told, and I do believe it's true after being in classical conversations and essentials for very many years, that if your first year student memorized chart A in their first year, then they are winning, okay? Obviously they wanna eventually me memorize all of the other charts as well, and it will come, but remember, this is a three year program, okay? So the goal is to do whatever is easy and then add one more thing to stretch our students. So. Again, this is what you're taking to class and you're preparing with at home. These are gonna be your daily sentences. You're gonna parse and diagram one a day with your student at home. You're gonna make sure that your student has memorized their charts. So now you're gonna ask me, but what about editing and what about spelling? Okay, so editing and spelling, classical conversations does give you Bible or scripture, I should say, to edit every week. It does come in your loose leaf papers and if you would like, you can add it to your daily spiral guide, okay? I have not because on CC Connected, there's something called the Onward eZine that gives you these worksheet pages that you can print off for you and your student to use at home. Everything that is in the side column is here. It gives a little checklist so your student knows what to do each day. And then this is the portion that we have not covered yet that is the writing portion that we'll go over in a moment. But if you look, you can print off the spelling words and it gives them place to practice it. And it also gives you analytical task sheets that match the week and the sentences that are in your daily guide. So you can use this as your answer guide and give this to your student to kind of work through in front of them if you would like. Also in here, they have given you the editing exercises that your student can work through, okay? So that is the Onward eZine that's online. Now, we've already talked about how Essentials is a three-strand program, grammar, writing, math. We've handled grammar. This is your grammar portion, okay? Let's talk about math real quick because math is easy peasy. This is not a full math curriculum. You need to choose your own full math curriculum to run at home. But during class, they will be doing fun games that everyone can participate in to kind of reinforce math concepts. And they'll be able to work at whatever math level that they're at with zero embarrassment. It's just a game portion of the day. So the third strand is the writing portion. And we're gonna talk about that now. Okay. So the writing portion that you're going to be doing is called IEW, which stands for Institute for Excellence in Writing. You will have purchased your student book and your teacher's book, and the, this is your writing curriculum.
okay? So this is not the this is not 2021, okay, that we're going into. This is an older book. I don't have my new books yet. But what you're looking for is the IEW sim symbol and your student book and your teacher's manual. So every single week, your tutor in class is going to be teaching the concepts. So let's go straight to unit one. This is what your tutor will teach in class, okay? She will explain to your student how they are going to read the source text and what the process is for creating an outline of this source text. It's called a keyword outline. And then at home, you will have assignments for every single day of the week. And you will be working towards writing a paper with your student. In the back, you have vocabulary words, a new set of vocabulary words for each lesson that you will pull this out and cut them out to use them as flashcards. And they will be able to use these words in their writing. Those words are also reflected in the Onward eZine. These are the words, sorry, these are um, right here. These are the vocabulary words. And in the Onward eZine, if you would like to use it, it's not necessary, but it's here for you if you want it, in the back, after all of your analytical tasks for the week, after the editing exercise, they also have games that your child can do using the vocabulary words from IEW, okay? So that is IEW. So you have your writing portion, your grammar portion. You guys getting the picture here? There's one extra resource that you're gonna hear about. It's called the Student Resource Binder. I purchased mine from IEW directly. Um, I do believe there might be a download that you can access to just kind of print it off and put your own binder together, but this was already done for me and it was inexpensive. The student resource binder is exactly what it says. It's just an extra resource for your students so that if they're writing and they hit a wall and they can't think of a great adverb to use in their writing, then they can open this up and they've got a list of vocabulary words they can be using for their writing. It's a extra resource for writing. So. This is writing, this is grammar, and that is your window into essentials. It is a full grammar and writing curriculum with a little bit of math for reinforcement. I hope that's helpful to you.